Taurus, welcome to your monthly reading for December 2021. I hope y'all are doing great. I hope that you guys are in good spirits, living your best life. And yeah, Taurus, I, um, I'm going to be covering your recent past, your present, and also your future. Towards the ending of the reading, I'll draw some cards of advice. And yeah, let's get to it, Taurus. I hope that you guys are doing great. Let's see what's going on with you this month. Spirit guides, spirit angels, ancestors, divine team. What is going on with the collective of the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and also Venus? What is their present energy? Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Okay, so we have seasons and grief. Okay, seasons and grief, Taurus. All right, so in your present energy, I have number 29 and the number one. I have Allah with grief and Nana Buluku with seasons. So I do feel like right now you guys are going through some kind of changes. You're grieving over someone or something. It could be someone past. It could be the loss of a, um, a friend, a, a loss of a relationship. It could also be the loss of a job, a career. Okay, I know a lot of people now, especially with everything going on in the world right now, are going through a lot of changes and I do see Taurus that going uh, grief going into seasons I do feel like when I think of seasons I think of things coming and going so I do feel like spirit is saying that there's something you're grieving over about some changes um, and especially with the seasons changing right now you may be feeling that loss even more okay what is your recent past energy what is your recent past energy Okay, so you have celestial alignment with your past. So I do see in the past, Taurus, your recent past with uh, Ino, Inko Sazana with number 41. And in your recent past, I see that there were a lot of, again, changes that took place in your life, but all of it was divine orchestration. Um, this means that through Mercury retrograde, through the planet's placements things had to happen in your life and so they have um if we look at her crown it's actually the constellations the 12 constellations okay and so i do feel like uh, to, uh taurus there's a lot of divine orchestration a lot of things that are out of your control taking place to align you where you need to be okay so a lot of things that are out of your hands have taken place and in the current moment that you're experiencing some kind of grief, okay? What is your your future energy? What is the energy for our Taurus friends' future? Future for Taurus. Okay, we have Tichabo feeling safe, okay? So what Spirit is saying there to me is things are going to go great for you, Taurus. There's no need to worry. Um... I do feel like there there's grief that grief is something that's inevitable and everyone grieves differently okay um some people grieve quietly some people cry when they grieve some people talk about it some people don't talk about it at all some people don't eat some people eat um stress eat it really just depends but i feel like spirit is saying in your future taurus um you're gonna get to a place where things are gonna make more sense you're going to be grounded you know, you are represented by by the earth element. And so you crave stability, security, and comfort. And right now, things are up a little in the air right now. But Spirit is saying that in the future, you're going to be right where you need to be. You are where you need to be right now. But safety is, is coming. Your security is coming. Your grounding is coming. Okay? All right. I also feel like Spirit is saying... Um, you know, it's a, it, it's great to feel safe. Everyone wants to feel safe, but don't get so safe that you get into your comfort zone, okay? Okay, I'm going to put these to the side. All right, Spirit, show us the current energy for Taurus. What is the current energy for Taurus? What's the current energy for Taurus? What is the current energy for Taurus? Okay, so you have the two of wands and the two of wands is coming up in reverse. So I feel like you guys are struggling moving forward, moving on uh, with your day-to-day -day life routine. I feel like there's a struggle here. 
Um, you may be struggling to get up every morning to be happy here with the two of wands. You may also be having a creator block, a creative block where you're just, it's hard for you to just plan things out and stick to them and be, um, you know, passionate about anything right now. now we're getting the number two of swords the two of swords and it's also in reverse two and two the number two the number two to me is about balance um <clears throat> the number two is also about decisions and duality okay um <clears throat> the two of swords here is about making having a hard time making decisions taurus so right now i see it hard for you to take action hard for you to make decisions or make a certain decision. It's hard for you to move forward with a certain decision. What else, spirit? Okay, yeah. So we have the nine of swords here. You're in your head, Taurus. Completely in your head, okay? Um, you are overthinking things. You could be suffering from migraines. There's just a lot of thought thoughts going on in your mind right now. A lot of mental stimulation, but also like mental, con mental constipation. And that, I'm trying to make the cards as straight as I can. I feel like there's also mental constipation there because there's so much blockage here. But even when you're thinking, it's like, it's not, there's nothing uh, constructive or productive coming from it. Okay. What else, Spirit? Okay, so why is it so hard for Taurus to move forward or make plans? What are they in their head about, Spirit? Okay, the Ten of Swords, and it's coming in reverse. So there's something that has ended, okay? It could be a relationship. Again, going back to that energy of like something ending, right? Um, yeah. I feel like a lot of you guys may have experienced a loss, actual death of a, a, a grief, grieving over some someone who has passed away. It could also be a relationship because when we are in relationships, especially for a very long time, when we break up with someone, it does feel like a death, okay? Because we go from talking to that person every day to acting like we don't know them, right? Like we're strangers. So I do feel like you're in your head about, so you're, you're grieving over someone or something here. Spirit, what is this about? Okay, so we have the page of pentacles coming, the page of pentacles coming in here. So the page of pentacles is the beginning phases of something. So I do feel like um, this person that passed away could have been a young, uh, younger than you or a student. I also do feel like it's hard for you to take direction right now. Because the Page of Pentacles is someone who's willing to learn. The Four of Pentacles is coming in. Okay. And the Four of Pentacles is about holding on or valuing, holding on to what you value here. So I'm getting Pentacles and Pentacles. Yeah, so Taurus, there's some someone that you've lost here, whether it be a relationship or it's an actual person. I really do feel like it's a person that you may have just been really, either someone in your family or someone who you were in a relationship with um, or a friend here. And this person was could have been a student, okay, or someone who was going to school uh, or planned on going back to school or someone who was younger than you, someone who was very curious to learn new things. And with the Four of Pentacles here, I feel like this is someone you hold, held very near and dear to your heart. Spirit, please clarify what situation this is. The Ace of Swords going into the King of Wands in reverse. Both cards are in reverse here. So I do feel, Taurus, that this um, situation, you don't have clarity about it, okay? You don't have closure with this this person. And the person you could have been um, in a relationship with or this person who um, is no longer in your life, who's passed on, could have been the King of Wands energy, which is 
uh, fire, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, okay? So I do feel like you may have been dealing with <coughs> a fire sign. Um, and both of them are coming in reverse here because I feel like it's you don't have clarity about this person or closure with this person. I feel like there was something left unsaid here, maybe something you want to say that you didn't get off your chest, or there was something that you didn't have clarity about, some kind of truth that you never got closure with. Um, and the King of Wands coming in reverse because you don't have connection to this person. There's, it's All I keep seeing is, look, knives, like swords everywhere. Sword, 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 okay? Overthinking something you don't have clarity about and the, the ending, the demise of something, the two of swords, not having that clarity of mindset to be able to make decisions. Two of wands, how do I move forward um, with this page of pentacles, with this information that I've gained and this person that I valued so much here, okay? So let's move on to your recent past. Maybe we'll get some, some insight to this situation. Recent past, recent past. Okay, so we have the seven of wands here. Okay, so someone was fighting to move forward. Okay, and the six of cups there. Okay. Right, so I see the seven of wands here and then I go into the six of cups. I feel like there was a struggle here. Someone here was trying to, with the seven of wands upright, this is someone who was trying to forge forward, perse persevere um, because they were passionate and cared about someone or something from six of cups, someone from their past. So I feel like someone was trying to fight through something that happened in the past here, something that they didn't have closure. Again, no closure here. Uh, fighting past something from the past Okay, with the four of swords here, there's agony here. There's um, the opposite of meditation is, is chaos and confusion here. So I feel like someone was fighting, trying to persevere, trying to move forward, although they felt something in the past, really, they didn't have peace with. And I feel like with the Hierophant card here, this is about commitment here and also about spirituality. This is something that weighed down on your heart very, very heavily, Taurus. Okay, or is weighing very, very heavily on you. What were you forging forward from? What were you fighting for? Okay, so you were fighting for something with the Five of Cups here. Something that was causing you great pain and confusion and also something that also made you feel a little rejected here okay so you were trying to move forward even though we come back to that number five which is about loss which is seven of wands five of cups you know wanting to move forward fighting forward for forging forward persevering but deep down inside feeling very tired and emotionally drained here the six of cups something in the past what happened in the past? Spirit, what happened in the past? Okay, lots of things happened in the past. We got like four flyers. Um, let me put them back. Spirit. Okay. Okay, that felt right. Okay, so someone in the past going into the Queen of Wands, this could have had to do with um, a woman, strong women, woman energy here. And both of these cards are coming in reverse here. So I feel like some of you guys, this may be your mom that passed away, okay? Or this person that you're no longer speaking to may have been someone who was a motherly figure. This person could have been a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This could also be your energy. It's like two contradicting. It could have been the situation in the past, how you both handled it, okay? This person was very arrogant and very stern on how they felt. You know, the Queen of Wands is usually about creating 
endeavors and she's about um, being a leader. And in reverse, this is someone who's very calculated, someone who's very self-gratifying here. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who's greedy, okay? When, it, when it's in reverse this way, it's someone who's greedy, someone who's very calculative, someone who's very strategic and sneaky. That's what I get, like someone who's like very motivated by money or material gain here. Um, so this could be the same person, but you being a Taurus, this could be your energy here. And this is like, the you know, the opposite here. But I do feel like there's something in the past. Um, this could be your mother or someone, again, who passed away. It could be the grandmother, uh, someone who was a motherly figure in your life or just played a very divine uh, feminine role here. In your life here and i feel like this person may not have understood you um may have been very very harsh and very very um tough with you okay and then the four of swords there uh this is like agony here who's in agony here why is this four of swords showing up and now we have the nine of cups in reverse okay so this is someone when i th think of nine and nine of cups in reverse this is someone who um who doesn't plan who who doesn't plan on being happy who when i think of nine cups in reverse i think of someone who's negative in emotions um someone who who just kind of could be a, an energy vampire here so i do see with the four of swords here this person brought up some un some uneasy energy um they could have been a very negative person a very negative negative person Okay, and then we have the higher font there, which is the connection. So this person, you could have been married to this person, or again, this this is um, this is uh, someone you're related to, because this is about traditions, families, and cultures and stuff like that. I forgot to read this one, but this one came up under the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah, so what I see here is the Eight of Wands. There was a lot of um, distance between you and this person. Okay. That's what I'm getting when I see the Eight of, of Wands here. And then the Hierophant card is the connection. Okay, either this person was your family member. Okay. The Hierophant show me. Yeah, okay. So look at that. The Hierophant going into the Temperance card in reverse, okay? So this is definitely someone you were related to, guys. Okay, so a lot of you guys lost maybe a mom or a sister or someone who played... A, a motherly role in your life someone who is older than you could have been again an older sister or an aunt here and this person the hierophant is definitely someone you're related to and the temperance card coming in reverse yeah this is um divine bloodline okay that's what i'm getting from that wow i don't think i've ever done a general reading where this has come out before on youtube but that's interesting i'm sorry to hear what's going on taurus but hopefully in your future cards we'll see something really beautiful let's see Okay, we have the Queen of Swords and she's upright. Okay. So we have the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Page of Wands upright, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Cups upright, and the Queen of Swords upright. So I have water, fire, earth, water, and air, okay? That means we have all four of the elements here. So in the future, what I see is the Knight of Cups approaching you. I feel like there's going to be someone who um, maybe coming around just to be nosy is what I'm getting. And this person really just wants to find out information. I don't feel like this person has any good intentions. Um, you see, they're, pu they're pouring out their cup. In other words, they're just en an energy vampire. There's definitely someone who's an energy vampire here. And I feel like someone wants to come around and be nosy just to see what's going on. And then I see the page of wands here. I feel like there's it's a page of wands okay okay so there's someone with the page of wands here we have a knight coming in okay and then the page of wands i believe that's your energy and spirit saying here that um again there's going to be people who are coming around and trying to distract you here but spirit is saying there's a need for you to focus on things that make you happy with the page of wands um basic things that make you happy okay 
um, basic things that fulfill you. If that means eating what you want to eat, then eat what you want to eat as long as, you know, everything is in balance, right? Um, but what I see here is Spirit is saying there's a need for you to focus on your passions, the things that you like to do, the things that you want out of life. And with the Seven of Pentacles here, I do see that there's a sense of boredom here, okay? There's a sense of where do I go from here? I'm a little lost here. The Four of Cups in usual tarot, it, in, in the standard tarot, it means someone who's just like emotionally disconnected, someone who's not really, the best way I could put it is someone who's over it, okay? But the Four of Cups um, upright here is showing me someone who has some kind of hope here. So what Spirit is saying is there, there's going to be distractions coming around. Stay focused on your passions because that's what's going to help you get out of this boredom, this boredom that you're feeling. I do see with the Four of Cups here, Spirit is saying to be open to opportunities, to allow your cup to be filled by the universe, okay? I also see with the Queen of Swords here, there's a big decision that you have to make and Spirit is saying there's a need for you to be very, very practical, um, and very logical with someone or something, okay? Don't let your emotions take a hold of you. Try to just use your brain here. Use your brain. Use your brain. Stay away from your emotions because your emotions are going to get you nowhere at this point, okay? If you need to grieve, which is it's part of you have to, right? Um, then go ahead and do that. But get back to yourself as soon as you can, Taurus. Your advice via my Moonology deck is prosperity lies ahead and it's in your sign, you Moon and Taurus. That's for you, Taurus. It is time for you to level up. It is time for you to know that the universe has you and going back to, you know, feeling safe. Prosperity lies ahead, okay? Your stability is coming with Tijava, feeling safe. This uneasiness will end very, very soon, Taurus. Just try to stay grounded. Try to be logical with your decisions. And stay away from anyone or anyone who is distracting you, okay? All right. That's the conclusion of this month's reading. I hope it resonated. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps the video and the channel. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.